All right, let's turn to a story that literally could change high school sports in our area forever. Talking about transgender kids identifying as girls or boys and deciding for themselves which gender specific team they want to play for. No ID necessary, no doctor's note necessary. Ashley Johnson has the full story. Ashley, what do you got for us? Transgender high school athletes in New Jersey now have the choice to play on any sports team for the sex they identify with without needing an updated birth certificate or driver's license or a doctor's note stating that they are undergoing a transition. The new transgender policy was approved Wednesday by the New Jersey State Interscholastic Athletic Association. The policy went into effect immediately. NJSIAA's executive director elect Larry White says, simply put, if I were to say, I'm a transgender female, I'm a transgender female. And so you can play on the girls' team? So you can play on a female-based team, that's correct. Garden State Equality, which advocates for lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender rights, estimates there are more than 13,000 transgender students in New Jersey schools, grades K through 12. Well, we came to this decision because outgoing Governor Christie signed into law new guidelines for transgender student athletes and transgender people. So our old policy became basically outdated. Skeptics question what this means for a person who was born a girl and plays on a boys team and then gets hurt. I would imagine that there are very few cases uh, of boys wanting to play on girls teams um, just because they want to or they think it's a fun thing. Um, at the end of the day, this is this is a, a, a very serious thing where we just want to make sure that all youth have the ability to be themselves and be confident as they're in a learning environment. NJSIAA's policy states any member school may appeal the eligibility of a transgender student on the grounds that the student's participation in interscholastic athletics would adversely affect competition or safety. I'm Ashley Johnson reporting for Chasing News. Okay, thank you, Ashley. All right, let's bring back our A-plus panel to break this down. I'm joined by Olivier Noel, who is an entrepreneur, founder and CEO of DNA Simple. Good to have you here. And Jeanette Hoffman, political strategist. Always great to see you. Thanks, Jeanette, Jeanette, we'll start with you. Um, this seems to be, in my opinion, an overly politically correct move by the Scholastic uh, Association, Athletic Association. It's got the longest name of anybody out there. But, uh, <laughs> you know, because, again, they've built in an exception so that the schools could actually challenge a kid, um, and it would seem to me that they've accomplished basically nothing. Right. Well, I think it is kind of a solution in search of a problem here, Bill. I think you're right about that. Uh, I, but I don't see any harm in this. I don't have a problem with it, but I, I do agree. It seems to be a little bit well, Olivia, what do you think? I mean, I, I have a problem with it in this sense. I think we are, we've, we are literally dissolving gender-specific sports in this sense. I think that you have a physical reason why boys and girls don't play the same sports on the same team, um, because somebody can get hurt. No, I mean, I'm, I'm actually okay with the rule. I mean, I, I don't think it's they had in mind to solve the problem of, you know, hey, this is a doctor note, this is a simple documentation that I have. I think they're thinking about the groups that had to, that were required to go get surgery to be able to do it and go to more extreme measures to be able to join the team that they really want to join. So I'm thinking about that segment of the population, not the one that can easily show documentation, which would be no problem. They show it, you well, and you're so, Why this lack of documentation? Why are we so afraid of that? We don't have to show an ID to vote. You can now change so, your gender and, and the girl could join the football team or, or vice versa. Do yeah, you know? I think it's kind of bizarre that they went so far to say you don't even need documentation. But on the other end, I don't think you're going to have a bunch of boys running out to join the girls' soccer team anytime soon. So I think these cases are going to be so few and far between that I don't really think it's going to have an impact in our day-to-day -day life. The challenge is I think they've opened the door to that first lawsuit when one school steps up and does challenge somebody, and then we'll see. So we'll be right back here talking about that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks.